John. Hey, Marissa. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Big day for you. It is. Transitioning from president CEO at Sam's Club to president and CEO Walmart US. How are you feeling? Exciting day. Great. Yeah. yeah, it's a great day. Looking forward to it? Of course. All right. So you've been with the company a long time, obviously. What does Walmart mean to you? And tell us a little bit about your career. Well, let me start with what Walmart means to me. And there are a couple of ways you could you can quantify how long I've been with Walmart. So officially just over 26, almost 27 years. But I really started when I was three years old. So we can do the math now. So I, <laughs> I've been around the company since I was three. That was 42 years ago. My dad started in operations in 1977, and he was he was an assistant manager and ran stores, and we had less than 100 stores in the whole company. So I grew up in a in a Walmart household. My father told stories about the three basic beliefs all the time. So I heard about respect for the individual, serving customers, and striving for excellence when I was four years old. Of course, I had no idea what it meant. <laughs> right. Um, but but totally got to understand over time the power of it, and and of course, like every person in the world. I was never going to do what my parents did. So I had no intention of going into retail. I played the guitar. I thought for sure I was going to be a famous rock musician. <laughs> Clearly that did not work There's out. There's still time. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, there, there, there's, there is no time actually for that. No, but, but uh, that didn't work out so well. And, and I went to work at the store in Bentonville store 100. I was a, I guess I was a, probably a freshman in college working part-time and then I became an intern. I was an intern in Monterey, Mexico for Sam's Club. And that was when I figured out this is really an interesting place. There's so many opportunities. And I think for somebody who could start working part-time in a garden center to now be in the spot I'm in and, and have been over the years, it's just a, absolutely amazing. I can't think of another place in the world where that even be possible. I'm just a, I'm a farm kid that grew up in Southern Arkansas and and that's actually the way I still think of myself. It's just somebody who is here trying to help. And I'm just thrilled and honored to be a part of the U.S. team and looking forward to making an impact. And you've held nearly every job. I mean, operations, merchandising. So you know the business in and out. Well, the the joke here is eventually they'll find something that I, I could be good at for a while, I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, I've been I've been in a few positions in the company. I've moved quite a bit. I've lived in uh, all over the Southeast in Maryland, uh, lived in Baltimore a while, lived in North Carolina, lived in Virginia, spent some years in Hong Kong and in China, as I said, Mexico. And I worked in sourcing, pricing, strategy. I've worked in the U.S. business and merchandising and operations, same in Sam's and then uh, same international. And then the last few years has been really exciting because we've had so many changes here in the digital space. We've had a lot of innovations happen in in Sam's Club and, and we've made a lot of progress on taking the friction out of the workplace and finding new ways to take friction out of shopping for members. It's been really exciting to, to really infuse technology into the center of what we do. Absolutely. And reprioritizing the customer is something that you're very passionate about. So explain what you mean by that and how technology plays a part in that. Well, everything starts with the customer. And someone asked me not too long ago, what's more important, your, your associates or the customer? And the, the answer, of course, is, well, both. Um, you can't do this without either one. But we have to prioritize what it is we do for customers in a way that no one else in the world can do. And then we have to continuously improve it um, because the way you, you got to think about loyalty sometimes in retail is the lo is loyalty is the absence of something better. And so it's our job to continually find ways to make it better. And that can be better products. It can be better prices. It can be removing friction. And you'll hear me talk about that a lot. And friction is everything from it takes me a bit too long to check out or it takes me a bit too long to get a card or when I'm online, the basket just doesn't load the way it should. So every little bit of time we take away from people is something we should be working on improving. Absolutely. Now you talked about your time in China. Mm -hmm. How did that experience shape you into the leader you are today? Um, it was a it was a really interesting time for me and my family. Um, anytime you get to spend time like that away with your family is great. And 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 first of all, it makes you stronger as as a group of people, but also it gives you some time to reflect. And I'd been in, in Sam's Club here in the U.S. and Walmart for a long time, and, and I had saw it from the inside. And it gave me a couple of years to see it from the outside. And I was still part of the company and still employed. I don't mean, that, mean it like that, but nevertheless, um, it, it gives you a chance to reflect. And what I realized when I got away from it is I was spent too much time trying to get all the work done and not enough time thinking about the impact I was having on other people. And this was an interesting experience because I knew when I was starting and I knew I was leaving. And when you know you're leaving at a certain point in a business, then you just reframe everything. And it's not about you anymore. It's all about getting them ready so that they're better when you're gone. 
Absolutely. Well, how would you explain your leadership style? What should associates expect? Um, think of it as uh, I like to empower people. I like to find the very best people with, that are energetic and enthusiastic and innovative. And then it's about finding ways that every one of us can, can play the biggest part we can possibly play to contribute. Absolutely. And what are you most excited about for Walmart US? I know building inclusive teams is really important to you. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Team, uh, teamwork is really important. I spend a lot of time on on thinking through the team and, and uh, how we lead together and and then how we empower people um, all throughout the company. And, and it's such a great place with so much innovation. Um, I was just in a distribution center in Brooksville, Florida with some amazing experience. I know Maurice, who's run it for a few, has managed the D.C. for a few years. Um, I got to a store last week that was the last store I managed before I went to become a market manager and then on the Sam's Club in Jacksonville, North Carolina. And I walk in and I find this person, Max Miller, running the store who I hired as the bakery manager back in 2000. So, you know, there are just so many inspirational stories around the company. And this has always been a place that has given people all sorts of opportunities. And we've got to continue that in any way we can. So first day on the job, what's the first biggest the thing on your mind? Uh, well, the first thing on the first day is let's get through the first day. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, we've got quite a few things planned. Um, uh, time to be in uh, in stores later. Uh, I've been meeting uh, my team and and just looking forward to uh, figuring it all out. I, I told somebody in a store a couple weeks ago, I walked in and uh, I saw this person, Kelly Clark. He managed a store 125 in Fort Smith and I found him in the back room and of course I said, what are you doing here? I said, well, Kelly, I've been out for 15 years and I need you to catch me up. So if you could take from now until say 12 o'clock and give me a speed lesson on how to manage a super center again, that would be great. <laughs> so cool. I got a lot of catching up to do. And you're gonna go back to store 100, right? Where it all began. That's right, back to 100 where it all began. Anything else you want associates to know? Well, it, it's just important to remember, you know, why, why we do this. We make a difference in millions of people's lives each and every day. And what we do, it really matters, it matters to our family, it matters to our friends, it matters to our customers, and people need us. Um, at a time when things can be a bit divisive and the world's a bit crazy and there's a lot going on and, and different complexities in people's lives, we're a place where people can find community and find value in things they need. And we can change people's lives and we can help people save money and they can look better. Absolutely. Well, John, I know we're stoked to have you at Walmart excited. US. I'm excited about it. Yes, and be sure you can find him on LinkedIn and Instagram at Ferner. Looking forward to the next episode. All right, thanks.